And we do want to get back to our coverage of the historic flooding in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The raging floodwaters leaving buildings and cars underwater. This restaurant flooded. And Fort Lauderdale resident Lane Braden was stuck in that restaurant as the rain came down. And he's joining us live now. Lane, thanks so much for joining us. So can you walk us through what happened last night when the flooding started? Uh, it was just one of those, uh, it was a regular day and uh, playing music and the rain had been coming down, but it seemed like just after a while, uh, the streets just were not able to take on any more water and uh, turned around and all of a sudden there was more water than uh, was even able to hold up against the doors and um, we'd open the doors and water would just pour in. So it was, uh, it was a pretty crazy time and it just got deeper and deeper uh, as the day went or the evening went, sorry. So what do you even do in a scenario like that? You're in the restaurant with really nowhere to go. Water's coming into your place that's supposed to be safe. So how were you and other staff, and I don't know if you had other patrons that were in there, able to maybe get to safety, or was it a matter of staying in this restaurant throughout the night? Well, I, I was actually the entertainment for the venue that evening, and uh, uh, I was just asked by management to ask everybody to go ahead and close their uh close their tickets out and exit the building as quickly as possible to find uh, safe accommodations. Um, from what I was told, there were people trying to even find hotel rooms and everything got booked up. Uh, I, I have a, a pickup with uh, a little bit higher of a clearance. So we were able to, me and uh, one of their security guards that rode with me, uh, he, I got dropped him off as well. And uh, it took us, it took us a, a two or three times longer than it should have to get home just because of the water and all of the things we had to go through. It makes sense to see how much water not only creeping into the restaurant, but also on the roads there. Uh, so I'm not sure how long you've lived in the Fort Lauderdale area. With that, have you ever experienced anything like this? Well, I, you know, I've been here for uh, almost 10 years and I, I'm sure there are people that have experienced some pretty hefty hurricanes. I've seen uh, a couple of them myself, uh, and the rain is really strong. But I, I don't know. There was something about this of just a continual rain, and the fact that I don't know if really the, the uh, uh, the drainage system of the city could even keep up with it. So it was it was more than I'm accustomed to. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, more than many people are accustomed to. I mean, this could potentially be the, the worst, wettest day Florida has ever seen in its history. Uh, in total, Fort Lauderdale picking up just under 26 inches. want to ask you, too, I mean, the fact, you know, you had to close down the restaurant, or they had to close down the restaurant, but in some cases, it was even more dangerous being out on the roads. I think we saw the video that you shared where you're navigating. It looks like somebody's out of his car on the phone. The water was quite high. I mean... In terms of what you saw, I don't know if you saw any tow trucks or rescues that were out there, but it seemed like a very anxiety filled, like right here in the video. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how you yeah. were able to get through because it looks like there were cars everywhere. Yeah, you know, it, in that video, it looks like the, the truck is, um, it, the water's not deep when you look at that truck. That truck was one of those you know, big four wheel drives that was jacked up really high and he, he had no problems, but you can see the sedans wow. right next door that are, you know, all the way up to their hood. Uh, I would say in the, probably the two miles that we had to progress down Broward Boulevard to get to the interstate, we at just at this moment, and this was when the floodwaters were really starting to impact the city. Even at this moment, we we saw easily at least a hundred cars already completely stranded. There were no more eastbound, southbound lanes. It was it was pretty much a free for all. If you had a truck and you could get around, you were just weaving in between cars that were stranded, and uh, people were yelling and screaming and calling on cell phones and climbing out of windows and trying to get to tow trucks and. I really, I don't even know if tow trucks were able to access most of these people. I can't get over, I just can't get over it. it it's just a wild scene that played out. So glad you're okay. Glad you're okay. <laughs> Lane, right. Lane Braden, thanks so much for joining us. And we hope tonight goes a little bit better yeah. for, for uh, Lauderdale. But we know there have been flash flood warnings in effect. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.